what I was gonna do for today's vlogmas video, the eighth. So I was like, what am I gonna do? And I decided I was gonna share with you guys like my favorite Christmas memory. Cause I absolutely like, I, I remember this too, because it's my favorite Christmas memory. But we were, I, I can't even remember how old we were. But all I know is that one day, it was Christmas, right? Well, actually, I have two. I'll share both. I'll share the first one. So, it was, like, Christmas Eve. We went to bed early. Then, we, we went to bed at, like, 8 o'clock when we were younger. 8.30. And so, we'd go. And we would, like, this, I don't know how to explain this, but we would go to bed. My mom would, like, either put on, like, a Christmas movie or we just ran a TV show. Then we'd fall asleep. We woke up, and there'd be presents under the tree, right? But this time, my brother, he woke up at, like... I woke up in the middle of the night. I remember now. I woke up in the middle of the night. My brother was also well, also woke up. He was like, Carrie, you see the presents under the tree? I was like, yeah, I do. This is, like, at 4 in the morning, too. And it was 4 in the morning, and we woke our parents up at 4 in the morning to go and open these Christmas presents because we were so excited. We like, so many presents under the tree. We're going to go open these presents. And we did at 4 in the morning. Oh, my gosh. We opened all those presents. We brought all the presents to our room. And then we went back to sleep. And then we woke up. And there was a huge mess all over the floor. Wrapping paper everywhere. Presents all over the floor. Like, we just woke up at 4 in the morning and decided, hey, you know what? Let's go and let's do, like, let's open presents at 4 in the morning, too. We didn't even care about the time. Usually, it's like you wake up and then you open presents. It was always for us. It was frick. You saw that. It was for us as always either you make, like, you make breakfast, then you open your presents, or you open your presents, then you eat breakfast. So, this year, we do, like, we woke up, we opened our presents. At four in the morning, we woke up again, and then we ate breakfast. But I loved it so much. So many presents. Oh, goodness. I loved it. So, so much. Now, my sec one of my second favorite memories is, okay, we went to our granny's house on Christmas Eve. Our cousins were there. Usually it's like we have a big New Year's party, but I think we had it early this year for some reason. Like, it wasn't this year. There was another year. So, we went there. We had, like, all so much fun. But, like, our New Year's parties, I'll explain that in a second. But, basically, we went home. We Like, my papa, he got, a, um, he got me a karaoke machine for Christmas. And it was so cool. It was, like, we went to bed at our granny's house, and then we woke up in the middle of the night, and our dad took us back to the house. And... When we woke up, so many presents, and I remember I got a bike with butterflies on it. That Christmas day, it was a black bike with pink, purple, and blue butterflies. It, ha it was white, but the handles and the seat and everything were black. But the, the, I remember it. I remember this bike. And the seat came off of the bike, and I just rode without a seat for a while, but I never sat down. <laughs> I never sat down on that seat now that I think about it. But it was such a great memory. Also, I, I distinctly remember that Christmas as well, because... For some reason, it looked like there was a skull in the freaking sky. It looked like there was a skull in the sky, like this dark skull in Tennessee in the sky. And so I'm like, oh, gosh, this is, like, weird. I was like, oh, my goodness, is this the start of the end? But I just remember that for some reason, and I absolutely loved it. But now, I'm going to tell you, so my New Year's party is at Granny's house. So what we do is, it's, like, after Christmas. It'd always be after Christmas. It'd be, like, a day or two after Christmas, so we have time to, like, play with our toys whatever and like get ready and then we go to our granny's house by the way we lived in the same city so it's not like we had to like fly or drive anywhere but me and my brother would always go to our granny's house our parents would never went they never went we always went it was always the kids we always the two that just went to our granny's it was so fun all the time so so fun unbelievably fun oh my gosh okay i'm just gonna talk to my friend while i do this but i loved it we well so i'm gonna tell you what we do we go there we spend the night for like it feels like it feels like a week, honestly. We stay there for like a week, and basically, I'm trying to think what we did. Okay, so look, some of us. Oh gosh, this memory is popping up. Okay, I'm trying to explain this the best way I can. The food at the party. The food we'd always have it on the 31st, always on the 31st of December. So we got there at like the 26th or the 27th, and. We, and I'm not even joking with you either, we would have so much food. My granny, my TT would make deviled eggs. My granny would make, um, she made a bunch of stuff. She hosted. But my TT and granny were sisters, so they lived in the same house. And it was, a, it was like so fun. So fun. Rotel, cousin brought, one of the cousins brought Rotel. 
have a lot of adult cousins. One of the adult cousins I call uncle because it's like, it's weird that I'm cousins with an adult. But yeah, one of the cousins brings Rotel. Sometimes there's cider, not cider, but like the sparkling drinks and the wine bottles. They look like wine, but it's like actually sparkling Welch's juice. We get Rotel. Oh, that Rotel is so good. One of them brings a turkey. One of the cousins, who I call an uncle, I think, because it's like weird how you have cousins that are adults to me sometimes. You have like giant turkeys. They bring to, they bring a turkey, which like then there's the desserts. Oh my granny. Oh the desserts. For some reason I remember she let me help with the dessert every freaking time. Like the dessert is just so amazing. I love it. I remember it too. But there's just be so much going on. It all be so fun. Then you know you always have to have that macaroni and cornbread on hand. Oh, we got wings from Wingstop. Oh, shoot. It's one of these. Okay, I didn't realize that at first. But we got wings from Wingstop. It's like, these are like some of my favorite childhood memories to you guys. <laughs> Mother, you, s- you don't. We don't talk about it. <laughs> but honestly, I love it so much, guys. That, that memory, so fun. Do I think the New Year's parties are over? I feel like all the kids, low key, like we have like more kids in the family, more babies and everything. But I feel like a lot of the kids grew up. Um, I'm good. Hold on. Let me tell you real quick. I'm good. I'm recording a story time right now. How about you? I watched Black Clover all day, you guys. I'm just going to tell you about my favorite memories of my day. Basically, I had a good day. Nah, you're fine. But, honestly, I mean, this is not healthy at all. I woke up. I watched Black Clover. I ate breakfast. Did all my morning routines. Put my face, I had to put my face stuff on. Then, watched more Black Clover. Made my mom some breakfast because I wanted to actually feel like I did something productive that day. And then I... Did I what else did I do? Um, oh, then I took a nap. It was supposed to be an hour and a half nap. It ended up being like a two-hour nap because I felt, went to bed at like three. Not three. I went took a nap. Oh, my gosh. But, oh, gosh. Dude. I had a day. My day was so, like, so chill and calm. I'm, like, so grateful for the days that are chill and calm because I know there are going to be days where it's not going to be calm at all. So I really try to take advantage of the days when nothing happens and I can just sit and do nothing because it's stress-free. So I'm like, okay, this is a good day. I'm calm today. It's, like, such a stress-free good day. At, like, I take advantage of those days. It's like I'm not going to purposely go out of my way to find something to make myself busy sometimes because it's like life gets hectic like i truly think life gets like super hectic for people sometimes so it's like good to take advantage of those calm moments when you can but oh god oh i love it i just love to take advantage of those calm days but that's like my favorite memories and a bit about my day that's it though i'll do a life update probably on christmas or whatever doing a lot we're doing a lot a lot's coming up 500 subscribers we got a special for that it might be a part of vlogmas who knows i'd have to post more shorts though i'll see you guys next time i'm gonna watch black clover after this